Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up your Magento 2 server using the image available in the GCP Marketplace. So, click the link in the description box for this Marketplace listing. From this listing page, you want to click on Launch to create a new visual machine. Then you will be taken to this page where you can customize your visual machine. So, give your visual machine a name, choose the region, choose the disk size and when you are satisfied with the setting, simply accept the agreement and click on Deploy. And then you would have to wait for a little while for this virtual machine to be deployed. Once the deployment is complete, you can access the SSH terminal by using this button right over here. Then this should open up the SSH terminal in a new tab. So simply wait for a little while for this terminal to connect to the SSH key of the virtual machine. So from here, you want to click the link in the description box for the blog post that contains the step by step guide. Because we would be copying some commands from there. So. As you can see that the very first step is to create a MySQL database for Magento installation. So we need to configure the MySQL installation. So copy the command which is sudo mysql secure installation. Go back to the SSH terminal, paste the command and hit enter. It would ask you for the current password of the root which is blank so simply hit enter. And then configure your MySQL database and make sure to give a new root password. Once that is done, you want to create a new database and a new user for that database for Magento installation. So come back to the blog post and copy these commands. By the way, if you want to name your database something else, you can simply replace this Magento 2 keyword. And if you want to change the name of the user, then simply replace this keyword. So copy the commands, go back to the SSH terminal, paste those commands and hit enter. So now you're done with setting up your MySQL database. Now what you want to do is that you want to head over to Magento's website and create an access key. So click the link in the description box, either create a new account or log into an already existing account and right next to your username, click this drop down icon and click my profile. From here, simply click on access keys. Now if you do not have any access keys, then you would have to click on this button that says create a new access key. But as you can see that I have already created my access keys, so I will be using these keys. By the way. The public key is the username and the private key is the password. So now we need to configure the Apache for Magento server site. From the blog post, copy this command, paste the command to open up the 000-default configuration file. And in here, you want to add in some new lines. So copy the lines, head back to the file and press I to start inserting text to this file. Paste in the lines that you've copied, remove the first document root. Press escape, type in a colon and then type in W, Q and an exclamation mark and hit enter. Once that is done, you want to enable Apache rewrite. So the command is sudo a2n mod space rewrite and hit enter. And then you want to restart the Apache service. So type in the command sudo systemctl restart apache2 and hit enter. After that, you want to update the php.init file. So copy the path to the file, come back to the SSH terminal, paste the command and hit enter. Now inside this file, you need to make sure about a few of the comments that have been passed to this file. So the very first one is file uploads. Now to find that particular keyword within this file, simply click on this icon and then click on Ctrl plus W. This should open up the search bar. In here type in file underscore uploads and make sure its value is on. Similarly, search for allow underscore url underscore f open and make sure it is on as well. Then you would have to search for short underscore open underscore tag. Make sure its default value is on. Then search for memory limit. Change the memory limit to 256. Then search for upload max file size. Change it to 100 megabytes. Then search for max execution time and change it to 360. And lastly, search for date dot time zone and change its value to either your region or to America forward slash Chicago. And once you're done with everything, simply press Ctrl plus O, hit enter and Ctrl plus X to save the file. Now you want to restart the Apache once more. So type in the command sudo systemctl space restart space apache2 and hit enter. 
Next up, you want to install the Magento into Apache V host. So the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to cd into forward slash where forward slash www forward slash html and in here you want to copy this whole command head back to the ssh terminal paste the command and hit enter and when prompted simply agree to everything now it is asking us for the username so head back to magento website copy the public key open up the terminal paste it as the username hit enter and for the password copy the private key and paste it as the password and then save the credentials and then simply wait for magento to be installed and when prompted type in yes to install magento once the installation is done you want to add in some magento folder permissions so head back to the blog post copy all these commands go back to the ssh terminal paste the commands and wait for them to execute and at the very end hit enter and then you want to type in a command sudo systemctl space start space elasticsearch and hit enter. After that, you want to enable elasticsearch. So the command is sudo systemctl enable elasticsearch and hit enter. After that, what you want to do is that you want to configure and install Magento. So head back to the blog post, copy the first two lines and paste them inside the SSL terminal. But make sure to change the link to your website to the IP address of the virtual machine. Now to get this IP address, go back to console.google, click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, click on compute engine and then VM instances. From here, you want to copy this external IP address and paste it inside the SSH terminal. Then head back to the blog post and copy the commands from line number 3 to this line which says db password. Come back to the SSH terminal, hit enter and paste the next lines. Now the thing is that you want to give the database password. So if I go back to my blog post and scroll up a little, you can see that while configuring my MySQL, I gave a password which was your password. So I'm going to go back to my SSH server and replace this phrase with your password and hit enter. And then you want to copy all the next lines, paste them in the SSH terminal and simply hit enter. Now you're going to wait for a little while for the Magento server to be configured and installed in your virtual machine. Now once that is done, you want to type in a command for cron installation to automate some important jobs. So the command is sudo space bin forward slash magento space cron colon install and hit enter. Once that is done, head back to console.google, copy the IP address of your virtual machine, paste it inside a new tab. Now as you can see that I am able to access my home page. But I want to head inside the admins page. So for that, I'm going to head back over to my SSH terminal. And in here, I can see an URL extension for my admin homepage. So I'm going to copy this, add it to my virtual machine's IP address and hit enter. Now as you can see that it is asking us for the username and the password. So as you can see, the username and the password were given in these lines. So the credentials are admin and admin123. So head back to the virtual machine and type in the username as admin and the password as admin123 and hit enter. Now you might get an error about the two-factor authentication. So you can either bypass this authentication error or you can go with it and fulfill it. But for the sake of this tutorial, I am simply going to bypass this. To disable that two-factor authentication or authorization, simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and hit enter. After that, you can head back to your virtual machine and revisit the admin page. And this time around, you would be able to log into the admin page of Magento. So simply click on allow. So that is it for this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And make sure to check out the links for the image of Google Cloud Marketplace and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.